Now we're checking in with one of the event founders, Chopper Jim Sutterby. Carol got tired of hearing people complain because there was only a three month season. She said if you give them something to do, they'll come out. Well, she thought up a cardboard boat race, went up to Seneca Lodge, tried to sell it to them. They said if you can get a cardboard boat to float, we'll put some sponsor money up. Michael built a cardboard boat, they floated it in the motel swimming pool and that was it. She's all done. <laughs> There is Speedy. All right, I like the, I like the name. She's confident. Yes. Olivia Evans is the captain. Uh, this is her first year. Also, the other crew members, Jade. And then we have the USS Brew, and that is Seneca Lodge. Seneca Lodge was the very first sponsor. If you'll notice all the T-shirts, they have Seneca Lodge on them. When we built the first boat, we took it up to Seneca Lodge. They gave us a fifty-dollar sponsorship and a beer. It was all right. This is our fourth year using this one. Now, did you do some touch-ups on it? Yeah. You did? Mm -hmm. and, what, and so how have you done in years past, and how are you expected to do this year? We hope we don't sink. It wouldn't be bad to sink on a day like today, though, right? The water's pretty nice, balmy 64 degrees. Mm -hmm. Brett Boobreaker is the uh, one of the sons that's now running the Seneca Lodge, and he and his uncle and his dads have been building boats since it started. And Scott Brubaker, returning for his sixth year, also has Maria helping out there. It looks like Speedy's a little less than Speedy right now. Well, he does, uh, USS Brew does have more in the way of experience. Oh, absolutely. And both of those uh, kids have been through the uh, third grade regatta that is held at the Watkins Glen uh, Elementary School every year. It was the ninth year for that event. So they're experienced sailors. That is cute. It does look like a little outboard you know, boat. It's very cute at the front. We only worked on it for five days, and there's about set, or nine rolls of duct tape on it. And um, we, me and my friend Jade um, painted it yesterday. I will give her an A for creativity. She did it. Yeah, she did a great job. Yep. Very casual. Very casual. They're pros. They've done yeah, this before. They know where to go. <laughs> Send a shout out to our safety crew with the Schuyler County Sheriff's got together five or six jet skis for us this year and that we couldn't run it without them. We really appreciate everything they do for us. I see them out in force today and we also have lots of kayakers helping us. Uh-oh, it is starting to get a little water there. Right here we have bad bass, careful now, and fish food also right at the starting line. Captain of uh, bad bass is Darren Vaughn. And uh, we're at heat 14 already. We're ha Fish food's having a little bit of trouble right now that they've taken on a little bit of water. They need to get themselves centered a little bit. Oh, yep, took the water out. I was worried about fish food when I went through the cardboard, uh, excuse me, the concourse de cardboard. I do apologize. It looked a little iffy there, but see if the girls can pull it off. We made it, we put carpet rolls on the outside and put a carpet roll on the bottom and wrapped it in, and wrapped it in duct tape. And about how long does this process take? We did, we took about a week. Wow, oh, look at them go. Oh, yeah. Wow, they're fooling me. Uh, okay. I do say I enjoy the giant hook on the front. That was pretty good artistic <laughs> ability right there. And there we have Bad Bass. Oh, uh, its name's Bad Bass. I came up with the uh, name when I was fishing, and I lost the biggest bass I've ever hooked. So I decided to call my boat Bad Bass and try to paint like a fish. It looks more like a frog, but I'm going solo. This is my third year doing it, though. It's first year going by myself. It only took like four rolls of duct tape to do it, and it took me about a week to make it. I think Bad Bass is going to have a long day. I think so, and fish food is really smoothed yeah. out. They got their groove and their balance. I think that's the key. Once they took off, they knew exactly what they were going to do. Look at that crowd. We got so many people here today. And just the perfect day. Beautiful weather today. Bad Bass seems to be a little bit stalled there. 
Alexa and Sarah are on fish food, and they are from uh, Waverly. Speedy is struggling to make it through the finish line, but... Oh, this is so tough. I know. I have to give them all credit. I don't think I could make it through. I'd overshoot, or I'd maybe under the pier or something. Here we have Never Forget. Oh, wow. It looks like he's going to go on his knees all the way. That's got to be tough. And right there is Just Go Home. There we have a great camera angle also. I had finals, so it's not the best boat, but I did put a, quite a lot of time in it. It's made out of carpet tubes in the center and the paint to seal it, so it's uh, it should float. <laughs> Is this your first time building for the uh, cardboard boat we're going? Uh, it's my first time alone. That I built this boat alone, and but I usually do it with my family. What types of expectations do you have for today? Um, well, I was challenged by this gentleman, and there's a lot riding on because we are rival families, so. It'll be very interesting. Yes. Never Forget has Evan Nelson, who is a captain. He's been at the regatta for 15 years. Well, he's going for it. Look at that. Wow. Now, right there, we've got a great shot from the Elm Chevy Splash Cam. Being worn by Just Go Home. Which is worn by Kelly Dano, and this is her for very first year going alone, solo, very brave. Um, my boat name is uh, Never Forget, and uh, it's dedicated to the 343 uh, firefighters and EMS personnel of 9-11. And um, it's bright red firefighter engine with a little bit of uh, silver on it to make it, you know, really dedicated to a fire engine. That's awesome. Now, could you tell us a little bit about the friendly rivalry that you might have here with uh, some of the other voters that we've recently met? Um, yes, uh, Kelly and I have been uh, friends for a long time, and uh, you know we're kind of just going back and forth against each other. And uh, you know this is our first year together is competing against each other. We finally got you know set up to compete against each other this year. Oh, we have littered the whole back part of the course. Boats everywhere. Kelly looking confident, doing that turn quite well. Now, Carol, is he on his knees? Yes, he is, and that's tough. That is tough. And there, take another. Yeah, that's a tough way to go. Yeah. He's still there, the bad bass. Looks like he might have almost caught one. Harbor Hotel looks so nice. So glad they're with us. Awesome. I think he's slowed yes. down. He worked really hard for that beer he's going to get. 